This is Brian Rogers for BBK Performance to show you how to quickly and easily add even more horsepower, torque, and throttle response to the awesome GT500 Mustang using our twin 65mm throttle body, part number 1764. Begin by disconnecting the PCV and vacuum lines that run to the inlet tube between the airbox and the throttle body. Then loosen the hose clamps on the tube and remove it from the car. The next step is critical. You'll need to measure the voltage on the throttle position sensor with a digital voltmeter. With the key on and the engine off and the negative probe of the meter grounded to the engine block or to the chassis, stick the end of the positive probe on the meter into the bottom port of the TPS connector. On this car, the wire is green with a dark stripe. Note the voltage, then turn the key off. Now disconnect the electric motor and the TPS connectors from the throttle body. Then unbolt and remove the throttle body from the car. And note that Ford built in a lifetime reusable gasket at the throttle body. And for this reason, your BBK throttle body does not require or come with a new gasket. Remove the screws from the TPS and pull it straight away from the throttle body without twisting. Then transfer it to the BBK throttle body and bolt it down. Next, remove the T20 torque screws on the perimeter of the electric motor. Note that there is a loaded spring inside of this assembly. So pull the motor away slowly and allow the spring to unload. Using a tool, pop the removable cover off of the motor housing as shown. Now place the pigtail of the spring into the slot in the gear of the BBK throttle body and let the spring sit on the shaft. Slightly loosen the 2.5 millimeter Allen headed set screw that stabs into the side of the brass plunger enough to rotate the plunger by hand. Now drop the motor housing onto the BBK throttle body and secure it with just two screws. Note that the motor housing has a large slot and a small slot in its turret. Note that the plastic cap on the spring has a large tab and a small tab on it. Rotate the plastic cap counterclockwise until they interlock. Back at the car, use two of the supplied Allen headed mounting bolts to hold the throttle body in place. Then plug in the electrical connectors at the TPS and electric motor. With the key on and engine off, use the voltmeter to read the throttle position sensor voltage again. Turn the brass plunger to adjust the voltage until it matches your initial reading that you took before you remove the stock throttle body. Be sure to push the blades closed and release them again to verify that the voltage is correct. Once you have the voltage set, turn the key off and remove the throttle body from the vehicle for the final assembly. Remove the electric motor again and tighten the 2.5 mm set screw. Now bolt the electric motor back on using all of the original hardware and install it onto the car using the supplied hardware. Then reconnect the inlet hose, PCV and vacuum lines. And now for the fun part, the dyno test. Wow, how about an additional 18 rear wheel horsepower and an average of 10 to 15 foot pounds of torque without any additional tuning? And what you can't see on this graph is the impressive gain in throttle response that the BBK throttle body adds to the GT500. It's also important to consider that this is just the throttle body only. There's a huge amount of hidden horsepower and torque to tap into by installing BBK cold air induction system, headers, and matching midpipe on this car.